Hello again, everyone. I'm attorney Robert Flusses. Thanks for choosing to watch this video. Sexting is becoming a serious issue in high schools and local governments are beginning to take action. The community where I live just enacted an ordinance to deal with sexting between minors. There have been a lot of complaints from parents whose children have been receiving explicit images taken that are being passed around to students. The local police department has been investigating at least one sexting incident every week during the school year. Local authorities, including the police, want to make teenagers take note of the possible consequences so they don't get into serious trouble when they become adults. Since this is a municipal ordinance affecting minors, the community will only issue fines. In this case, those who distribute images or videos will be fined $429 for the first offense and $628 for the second offense. That's a lot for a teenager. The ordinance prohibits the sharing of explicit images and reads as follows. A minor commits the offense of sexting if he or she knowingly uses a computer or an electronic device to transmit or distribute to another any image or video of any person that depicts nudity and is harmful to minors. It's illegal for a minor to even possess an image or video depicting nudity of another person. A minor who receives such an image or video doesn't violate this ordinance if the minor did not solicit the image or video and took reasonable steps to report the image or video to a school or law enforcement official. The minor can't transmit or distribute the image or video to a third party other than a law enforcement official. The violating transmission has to appeal to indecent, shameful, or morbid interests. It also has to be blatantly offensive to adults and the community as a whole, respecting what adults believe is suitable material or conduct for minors. The material must be without serious literary, artistic, political, or scientific value for minors. And unlike federal law that carries felony charges and possible prison time for adults, local governments are establishing laws carrying lesser penalties so they don't ruin a young person's life. The intent is to make minors aware that they're affecting the lives of others. In many cases, these images become embarrassing for young high school couples who've been exchanging images or videos. Once they break up, the images or videos are sometimes shared with others to harass or intimidate. High schoolers may be oblivious to the fact that those who share such content can be prosecuted, convicted, then labeled as sex offenders by being in possession of child pornography at the state or federal level. That means that offenders can be placed on a sex offender registry, which becomes a public record for all to see, and it could affect a person's reputation, career opportunities, and even college admission. The new ordinance takes effect soon and we'll see if it's effective or not. You should take a look at your community's website to see if similar ordinances are being considered or have been enacted. These ordinances are most likely enacted to scare kids into realizing that when they become adults and continue this type of behavior, serious consequences can result. This is especially true for those young adults that date minors. A common example is when an 18-year-old high schooler is dating someone under 18 and transmits images of the minor to others or stores those images on their phone or computer. That activity is considered possession and distribution of child pornography. It's not funny because instead of receiving a fine, the adult is subject to criminal prosecution. Believe it or not, using the example of the 18-year-old dating a minor, that offender is shocked to learn of the serious consequences when they're caught. As an adult, their name is publicly published in the media, and they've joined hundreds of thousands of others on the public sex offender registry. This is why parents need to monitor their children's phones for such material and tell them of the consequences as they begin to mature into adults. Young people don't understand that they're affecting another person's rights when they share explicit material with others. They actually think it's funny. Well, they're immature and living in a fictitious and controlled environment. Once they're out of your custody and control, bad things could happen.
So it shouldn't have to take the government to clamp down on such behavior. It's ultimately the duty of parents to educate their children of the dangers involved in sexting. I'm attorney Robert Flessis, and thanks for watching.